very beautiful sounding preamp. This is about the closest thing that I've heard to a 1073 preamp if I was ever to use a 1073 preamp. Closest thing that I've heard to a 1073 preamp if I was ever to use a 1073 preamp. I know what I said. I know what I said. My goal for today is using a couple of plugins, we can turn this $100 mic into something that sounds expensive. Hey, what's up guys? It's Mixed by 8i, Mixed by 8i dot vision. And today I have a very special episode for you. I use this mic here to record. Now, if you can see it, it is the Audio-Technica 2020. And this is a very popular mic. Um, for the budget range, this microphone costs you around a hundred dollars. The thing is, I don't know if you can hear it. We're listening to my vocal in Pro Tools in its raw form. So if you can really hear it, my voice is very bright. I know I say that a lot. So I'm glad you really get to hear it and understand why I use dynamic microphones a lot when I'm doing these YouTube tutorials. So I had to figure out workarounds because I'm thinking, what if you don't have the budget to go out and you know buy the more expensive mics, the ones that really, uh, the ones that have a more flatter response? I'm here to tell you that there are workarounds. If at any point you like anything in this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below your microphone that you are using at the moment. So today we are going to try to do a simple vocal recording and we're going to try to employ the expensive microphone technique to this song. Don't mind the first plugin because that's simply so you guys can hear me. First of all, in order to get in that microphone, in that realm of expensive microphones, we have to turn this microphone into another microphone. And there are tons of ways that you can do this. You could even do it by simply just using EQ and compression. And there are tons of model mics out there. My first thought process is to use the mic mod from Antares. What we're basically trying to do is we're trying to mimic not get the exact, but we're trying to mimic the characteristics of the microphone that we're trying to go for. What we first start with is the source mic. If you know the microphone that you have and it's listed in this mic mod plugin, what you're gonna do is come over to source mic. You could tell this plugin what type of microphone you're using. So like I said, we're using the Audio-Technica 2020, the AT 2020. Now what you can do is tell Antares, okay, this is the microphone that I want to model. So I've cycled through all of these microphones and have found that the Neumann U87, which is a staple in the music industry. So when I click this on, hopefully you hear the difference. And so as I'm talking, you can now hear that that harshness in my voice has somehow disappeared. So if I bypass this, you can just hear how that just all those S's just become so prominent, right? But when I turn this on, those S's just doesn't, they seem to sound more natural. Just that setting alone, you can go in and start recording just like this. So the next step would be running from a mic into a preamp. And so the way that I would do that is by using the Universal Audio Neve 1073 preamp. What I'm basically doing here is mimicking as if the vocal mic is going into a 1073 preamp. I'm cutting my signal by 20 decibels and then I'm adding that back in via the Neve 1073 preamp. My voice has just gotten a little bit more girth and a little bit more weight to it. If I bypass this, you would hear the difference. So right now it just, it sounds good, but it doesn't sound like something that I'm excited to record with. Uh, and when I hit this, wow, my vocal just opens up. It sounds more girthy. It sounds more, uh, like it has a little bit more body to it. So I do a couple of EQ settings. First of all, I've got to turn it on. And then I like to take out, I like to roll off that 80 dB just to get rid of some of that low noise rumble. And then what I also like to do is take this EQ at 220, this 
low shelf and just carve out a little bit of that. And so as you can hear now, my voice has become just a little bit more leveled uh, because I am very close to the mic. Um, you get a little bit of that proximity effect. And so I want to take just a little bit of that out. And what I'm also going to do is add some of that brightness back in. So you can hear my voice is just more clear. Uh, my voice has a little bit more clarity and a little bit more presence. Last but not least, we're going to use a little bit of compression. What we're using compression for in this case is to basically have a vocal that we're able to manage. And so the easiest way for me to do that is by pulling up the UAD LA-2A, which is just an optical compressor. This has a more smoother tone. It made me a little bit more louder. So we're going to turn it down just a little bit. And what I want to see from this plugin is just getting at my loud parts no more than 3 dB of compression. I know that that vocal is going to be controlled and I don't have to do as much in the mixing process when it comes to compression. So just adding a little bit of this, we can now hear that that vocal is a little bit more leveled out. So we go from this to this and it sounds amazing. So we're going to test this theory by recording to a song. I'm gonna create another mono audio track and we're gonna call this Lead Vox. And it's just a quick song that I created. What I'm also gonna do is just set up some simple effects to make this vocal recording sound a little bit more interesting. Uh, we're just gonna create a reverb track and a delay track just to show you how fun recording can be. I am going to create a reverb and a delay track and it doesn't have to be anything crazy it just has to get you out of that headspace of just recording vocals dry uh let's see what i'm gonna grab we'll try we'll go with the valhalla vintage verb just to keep it simple and just that move right there let me turn it down just that move right there opens it up to a more delightful vocal. Uh, it makes you feel like you're doing more of a performance. We'll add a little bit more uh, and decrease this just a little bit so it's not dragging too long. And let's send to some delay. We are going to use just simply the Valhalla delay. This is not mixing, this is just getting a better recording or a better vocal performance that is so i'm going to record just something that i wrote in lyric studio so let's check it out Okay. So like I said, just some scratch vocal that I put together. It's not going to make sense. Um, we're going to record the hook vocal. Part again. Said you'll take my worries away. Now I can hardly wait. 
Okay? okay. And so that's pretty much how it's going to work out. And so as you can see, if we're looking at this visually, when we look at our control vocal, we see that it's highly dynamic. Uh, and it looks like we have to boost it a little bit. But when we come to this loud part, it goes from soft to very uh, to very loud. And, and when you mix that, you have to do a lot, especially with compression, just to get that vocal to sit right. So with this new setting, if we're visibly seeing it, we see that although we still have those dynamic parts, uh, it looks a little bit more controlled and it looks a little bit closer to each other. So when you go to mix that, you don't have to do as much. And you can also hear tonal wise, we pretty much have a finished vocal. So when we go to mix that, we don't have to do a lot of settings. That's why I say I don't EQ that much because if I can get the sound to sound good going into the recording, it makes mixing that much easier. We'll start with the lead vocal. We'll go back and forth between the mic without the effects and then the new mic. Coming from you And it feels so good to me And I gotta have it constantly Said you'll take my worries away Now I can hardly wait so if you really hear it in that take my worries away, you can really hear how just how harsh my voice is and just how loud and dynamic that my part got. So let's really check that out. And if you're wearing headphones, I do apologize. Uh, you may want to turn it down a little bit at this point, but let's try. Let's just hear that take my worries away part. Let's check it out. Said you'll take my worries away. 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 So you can hear how powerful this technique is. The alternative would be to buy the microphone, which is a $3,500 microphone, then get you a Neve preamp, which can run you in, which can run you up to $3,000. Then you would have to buy the compressor, which costs you around three to $4,000. Before you know it, you have a $10,000 to $12,000 setup just to get started recording. Now, don't get me wrong. This does not replace that. There is a reason why you would want to go for that higher quality. But if it's just not in the budget, that does not mean that you can't make great music. I would say start with whatever you have and and really get creative with this. This is just an alternative suggestion if you want more of that expensive mic sound. But that's going to do it today for this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I've been Mixed by 8i. You've been wonderful. And until next time, thanks for watching. Peace. Working on my 9 to 5. Got to get back to you. Let's get lost in space and time. Don't mind these lyrics. They're just something that I pulled up right away. And it feels so good to me And I gotta have it constantly Said you'll take my worries away Now I can hide
my voice is like not cooperating with me today. I'll see you guys in the next video. My name, I've been mixed by Adai. You've been one. I'll see you guys in the next video. My. Ah!